Okay. So I've been working on what Jesus has been trying to show me with to be Shabbat. And last night um, I asked Mandy to pray about, because I felt in my spirit that there was not two days for to be Shabbat, but four days. And, um, and he confirmed it, but he waited to confirm it until after midnight. Um, but uh, the four, okay, so so he he like put it in my spirit to draw this. I'm not an artist, but it's the menorah. It's a tree for like to be Shabbat. It's also the hourglass. It's also the Maseroth, right? And then, so there's four lit candles. The middle one is not lit by man because the Jews left out Jesus, who is the sun, right? Symbolized by the sun. And then um, the Jesus told us that the Jews took out three or took out. Uh, yeah, took out three of the. Of the um, days for to be Shabbat, it was originally supposed to be seven, seven day holiday. Um, and so that's what I drew regarding that. And, um, then I was like, again, he brought me back to the one, one, one that he's been showing me since our spirits went up. Well, God, the father, can you see it? Is one. Yes. Yeah. Jesus, the son is one. Holy spirit is one. That's the three ones. Right. So you don't use the two and the three. It's three ones because they are three in one. And um, and it's like it's like their own. It's like uh, their own tree. Right. Like these are the branches and father, son and spirit. OK. And then. Uh, hang on. So then I was thinking about um, the three, four, five, nine, twelve, because he showed me in a dream and a vision i believe november and december he showed me three four five and then he gave mandy that and nine twelve and um her dream that they were together right and so i was like three four five i wrote it here and then i was like that was may june the third hour four four was june july five was july august then nine was november december um twelve is is going to, oh my gosh my kids february march guys you gotta go out there we're recording a video okay yeah. you want me to pause it sissy no it's okay it's okay um february march is uh the 12th month on god's calendar right so what's missing? What's missing is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit here, and then, uh, and then, the between the nine and the twelve, what's missing is the eleventh month. Okay, so he he was trying to show us that it would be this month on God's calendar, and God wanted a relationship with us, and so He sent Jesus to become an unblemished sacrifice for us and left us his holy spirit right so that we as one each of us could be come this with god father of god the father jesus the son and the holy spirit right and four is the door so the relationship gives you the door the key to the kingdom of heaven right um and then Let's see. Okay. So to be Shabbat started on the 25th and 26th, the full moon. Okay. And the Jews say that the 15th, uh, that it's the 11th month, 15th day, right? Well, 25 and 26 is seven and eight. And that equals 15. That's the Hebrew calendar date. 26 and 27 of our Gregorian month is 8 and 9. That's 17 of the, the Hebrew calendar date. 27, 28 is 10 and 9. That's 19 of the Hebrew calendar date. Today and yesterday, 28 and 29 is 111. 
and it's the third day of God's 11th month and the fourth day. Um, Jesus had me plant seeds on January 10th, which evening to evening, I was like, um, is, is January 11th. Okay. And that was marking the third day of God's 11th month. And my seeds miraculously sprouted, resurrected on day three, sorry, day three and day four, which is yesterday and today on God's calendar of the 11th month. So he literally put it in my spirit to plant these seeds as a homeschool thing for my children to show us that they would resurrect sprout on day three and day four which is us and the bride or us and New Zealand. Um, and resurrection is three, eight, six. Sorry. I'm not even showing the right part is three, eight, six, which is one, one, six, 11, six, or it's the 11th month, three days and three nights. Hang on a second. Why she hasn't paused, I just want to say what, okay, you back, McKenna. Why she hasn't paused, I just want to say that Jesus showed me that to be Shabbat is four days because he plants the seed, he waters it, then he brings light, which is the sun, because Jesus is represented as the sun, and then it rises, and that's why it's four days and not two. Yes. And that's why I drew the menorah with the middle one, because the Jews tried to leave out Jesus, but the sun is lighting it up. Right. And, and it's they... also connected to Lazarus as well. Four yeah, days. The four and days. That's why yeah. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John are kind of similar books, but with different perspectives, because <gasps> it's all leading back to Lazarus. And it's all talking about the farmer and the planting of the seeds, which is to be Shabbat which leads to resurrection, which leads to when Jesus feeds the people and that's going to lead to the supper. It's all combining in. It's all, it's all about the old covenant versus the new covenant and people under the law and not under the law. And it all ties in with the entire five two two journey in a nutshell. Yes. And, and awesome. uh, you just gave me a revelation. He said he's coming on the 43rd day for the bride. It's the fourth and the third day of the 11th month. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so he had us do the labor videos. Um, he said if he didn't come by 11, one by 5 a.m. to put it private. But originally he had released that labor video 10, four, and um, he put it in from five to nine thirty which is literally four hours and 30 minutes tied to what McKenna was talking about when, when she had her dream four thirty. Jesus was trying to show us that the time our spirits went up June 17, he's counting the moon cycle. So one day is like a whole moon cycle because of the two moons, the blue moon and the full moon, but it's half time. And so it would be five months to November, which is when he literally said, if he didn't come by then um, to put it on private, but he said, don't forget about resurrection. So you'd add the three more months, which is because it's three days. Um, and that's when we, we got to the month of February, which lines up with 11, one, which is also two, one, but because of the calendar change, you can go four days back, which is today. Um, or, you know, it it's hard because he uses Hezekiah. So you can do it 10 days, four days, or 14 days forward or backwards. So you don't know exactly until you, you kind of know. So there's still watch days, but they're very high watch days uh, that Jesus is going to come. Anyway, sorry, go ahead, McKenna. That was all I want to say. <clears throat> Um, and then resurrection, I was saying, uh, is, so it's equal to 38, or sorry, you're not seeing it, 386 in Strong's is equal to the 11th month, third day, I mean, sorry, three days and three nights, right? Um, which that was the start, I mean, 
yeah, that was the start of the Tubi Shabbat. And then three, four, five of God's 11th month is, is this window that we are in right now. Four is the door. And uh, that matches what Denise and Mandy and myself um, had the three, four, five in dreams and visions. And then also G asked uh, the question, what, what date would the enemy want to use? And I, I was thinking about it and I was like, oh my gosh, 129 is uh, right to like, or sorry, what, what was it? <laughs> I think you were looking. <laughs> I think you were looking at okay, 11. So you were looking 129 at... equals 111. And then, uh, oh, I know why. It was because 2024 20, equals 8. And uh, never mind. Never mind that part. <laughs> but nine, uh, she I can't remember, of, but it led to 911. Which yeah, is interesting. Yeah. I know it does. You can't remember but how also, she got it. But Jesus led me to 9-11 the other day in a dream. And the parable he gave me was 9-11. And he spoke parables to the people when they were on the beach, when he was feeding them. And that's part of the island. Yeah. And um, and also today's date, right to left, is 9-2-1 which 21 is jump, but also remember I made a video on or the week of September 21st about the song, Do You Remember the 21st Night September? And it was all about <laughs> rapture. Well. McKenna, I know how that. you got 9-11. I know how you got 9-11. Yeah. Because the first month. Remember. Well, because if he was leading to the, the one um it, it's he was everything was pointing to the ninth month for the ninth hour so because you had the oh, day yeah. that is how you got 9 11 because of the and ninth it's god's hour. 11th month and it's god's 11th month too so that could be too yeah um, and then i think oh. yeah that was it that was it i just oh, got in my spirit sorry yeah that's it that's fine the twenty first of my dream is for uh, connecting with the nine for the month uh, in the hour. I mean, and twenty one of my dreams saying it's your birthday, it's your birthday, and seeing twenty one flashing. And it's and it's two nineteen right now, twenty one nine right now. Oh, oh wow! Wow! That's so cool. wow. <laughs> um, another thing, Denise had a dream last night. Um, and Denise, you want to tell them your dream really quick? The five and the before five or whatever. Sure, I can. Oh, let me go back and I'll just kind of like read over it real quick. But uh, it actually wasn't last night. It was actually the night before. And I okay. meant to put it uh, in our chat. But uh, first I woke up at 222, which is actually the flame of God. That's what it means in Bible Concordians. Then I woke up again at 415. And he was just, you know, the Holy Spirit was just speaking to me. And then I finally fell back asleep and he gave me two dreams. The first one, I don't re really remember much, but um, I was going to a social security office and my husband had dropped me off and I went into this building and there was a gentleman there and he said, can I help you? I said, sure. I said, I need to uh, talk to you about my husband's social security and what, you know, his payments will be monthly. He said, well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but, you know, he doesn't have anything, but I can check yours for you. And I said, sure, can you check mine? And so I gave him my information and he said, oh, okay. He goes, yeah, that will be $345 per week, three, four, five. So that ties in <laughs> with some of the stuff that Jesus has been showing Mandy and also McKenna and, and McKenna. Yeah. Yes. And McKenna. And it also means three, four, five means to be reclined at a dinner table or dinner guests or to eat together. Wow. That's amazing. And so Jesus put it in my spirit today. He said, go ahead and add up from the time I told you I'm coming on the 43rd day, which was April 16th, McKenna found that I had a dream. And then he started putting in prophecy after that. But I counted 
and it was 289 days from the 30th, which is tomorrow. And so I was looking at that and I was like, okay, eight plus nine is 17 and 17 times two is 34. And I was like, oh, backwards from right to left, it's 43. Right. And then he put it in my spirit to do, um, the today's date. So I did that. And instead of 34, it's 33 for Jesus. Cause that's what it stands for. Right. And then he put in my spirit to do from when my ministry started the the first prophecy, which was December 30th, 2022, counting till the 30th. And I got 5,544 because you'd multiply it by the 14 months since it's 14 months from December to um, February. You're basically doing February 1st because it's almost the 14th month because you're at the end of the month in January. And so I did it that way. And I got 5,544. And that's very interesting because that is that number has been given to me by Jesus and it's tied to G. It's also 544 in Myrtle Beach where we align the planets. And Jesus uses a lot about Myrtle Beach. He also talks about Myrtle trees in the Bible. And then Jesus put in my spirit to do today's date from the ministry date, which was December 30th. And that was 5,543. Three, which is literally from right to left, it's three, four, five. And he told me when the 522 journey started, we do it physical, we cross the river, um, and then we come back and he's rewriting the experiences in our dreams, but also just reliving moments that we're repeating um, to, to do the journey symbolically. And he said, when we reach the middle, which is like the Mornora, menorah because jesus is in the center that is when rapture happens so if you look at it he gave me the three four five nine twelve dream and literally 34 about from the other side is 43 and then five right there in the middle is what he was trying to show us five as the month because he was showing me how it ties in with from our spirits went up five months because of the five moon cycles nine represents the ninth hour and 12 is because he takes his 12 first because he has to because we have to do consummation of the bride which is what i explained how they do it in a jewish wedding before they call their family and friends to celebrate and gather they have to do consummation of the bride which is what also leads into the island and the dinner and the supper it's all written in the bible and in john which is why he's doing john backwards and also to top it off I just felt in my spirit to look at the sunset today because yesterday's sunset where Vashti was, was 522. And Jesus gave me a prophecy how 522 starts it all. And January 25th, he said, it's today, tomorrow, and the next day. Why does Tubi Shabbat um, fit in with that? Well, it fits in with that because of the four days, which leads to today. But, you know, with Jesus and his time is not like our time. So, you just never know, but these are just high watch days for that reason. But it literally could be now because Jesus also showed me that the sunset for Myrtle Beach today is 543, which is 345, matching the dreams, matching what he just gave Denise. And he just gave McKenna a dream last night, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, literally leaning towards those days. And it's 30th in New Zealand and it's 29 here for us. So it's, it's just absolutely mind blowing what, what Jesus is doing and how he's using everything to bring this all together. Um, I, I'm just blown away. Um, but I, I think that was it. There was one more thing I'm trying to remember that just popped out of my head. Um, the five days, the Lazarus are so, oh, the sign of darkness. Okay. Remember he just said your spiritual is about to turn physical because the spiritual darkness turns into physical darkness, which is when Exodus backwards happens. That's when Obama rises and that's when the plagues come. I don't know if they're the same plagues in Exodus because he didn't tell me that, but he just said it's backwards. He takes the children first. Well, we just had the three days of spiritual darkness because he literally, he's been feeding the bride bread just like they did in the wilderness. And he was testing the bride for three days to see how they were going to react about not getting information from Jesus because he's been speaking to us and he's been giving us manna for the bride and messages to keep them encouraged. So he was watching to see who fell away, who stopped trusting and believing who was complaining or who actually went to Jesus 
and, you know, we're seeking them on their own in prayer and worship because he is a God of order, sovereign, but he's ranking. He's literally doing last minute rewards for his chosen, for his bride, because he's a father and he has many rewards for the people who truly love him, who are walking in his spirit, who have Jesus Christ and who are not under law, excuse me. And then he showed me the sign of darkness. The reason why he says the only sign I'm going to give you is the sign of Jonah, because Jonah is in the whale for three days. There's nothing but spiritual darkness, no physical at all. He's just inside the whale. So when the bride was in spiritual darkness, we couldn't text, we couldn't talk to them, nothing. We couldn't reach out to them at all. And people were asking where we were. It was all symbolism before the physical darkness comes. The physical darkness comes when he opens up the portal, not not God, but the, the devil, when they open up the portal through CERN. And what's going to happen is that's when the demonic walks on this earth, and that's when darkness falls. And what's really crazy about that is they're mimicking God and mocking him like they always do. Um, and they're doing 444 and 444 is 144 in time zones. Jesus also showed me that um, Lazarus, they're mocking. That's why it takes four days to open up the portal. And the other day he gave me the Ponzi scheme that came true. And he had me post it on the 4th of January, which is one four, but it came true on the 19th. And all of those days can literally match up with today because of Hezekiah 19 is 29 because of the 10 days when the dial turned back clockwise. Pretty sure I got everything, but uh, G, G, go ahead, babe. Uh, Charlene has something actually. Go ahead, oh, Charlene. Go ahead, Charlene. <clears throat> Sorry, and also what I was thinking because I'm a dire here. Uh huh. Also, uh, the me being in, in advance, and twelve hours later, the bride goes. Well, that will end up into Tuesday, which is Taco Tuesdays. Just that quickly. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Taco Tuesday, he said. That's, and he also said something about a, a Wednesday. They'll neutralize the system on a Wednesday. Has to line up with all calendars, just like Tubi Shabbat. He was trying to get us to look at all calendars because God uses the Gregorian, the Torah, the Hebrew, but he also uses his calendar. And that's what all of us have been trying to find. And McKenna just got tons of revelations on God's calendar and and everybody in the group has just really been finding out his true calendar and his true months. So does anyone have anything else before before we end the recording so it doesn't get too long? McKenna, do you want to talk a little bit about the tree of life and how he showed you? Um, he kind of he called McKenna the the tree queen the other day because she's literally symbolizing the tree of life to be Shabbat. It, it mirrors her birthday and all of that. So God literally picked her for that purpose to find yes. the tree in the Mazarath. McKinney, you can, you can tell about that if you like. It's very, it's very crazy to me. Um, like I had no idea, obviously like all of us, but uh, my, um, my ministry date, like the first message that he gave me for the public, is a mirror of Tubi Shabbat and my birthday is a mirror of Tubi Shabbat as well because my birthday is a mirror of um, the light dividing the darkness um, in Genesis and and so I guess I mean I know that our our God is um, omnipresent and he's in control of every detail um and of everyone including anyone who's listening to this their life their their birthday their names like god gave your parents the name to name you like truly he's shown us that like in so many ways and same with our birth dates and everything it, it's all for his purpose for his glory um if you have if you come to have a relationship with jesus um and so uh he had me he he was directing me in, in solarium um to find on the 25th um with the full moon and everything to 
to find something. I can't re really remember what he it was, was saying. He was showing me that he said something about 99. And he said, look at the shape of it, McKenna. Oh, so no, not saying, that part. I was talking about the tree. Yeah, uh, okay. So it was the... It was 88. Remember, he said, go back four days and look at it. And it was 88, the illumination of the, the moon. And then he said, look at the the dot there. I don't know. He was directing me to do McKenna because I don't have a Solarium app. It was like supernatural. And then she saw, he said, look at it, McKenna. What is the shape you see? And that's where. And he said, yeah, he said, zoom out. And I zoomed out. And I suddenly realized that the constellations on on the full moon of Tubi Shabbat the first day they make they make the tree of life and that is his hourglass that he's been talking about the whole time and he asked me to draw it um so I did I'm not that great of an artist but um I I drew it out and um with all the constellations that make up the tree and you know, so when he says my hourglass will flip, and that's what he's talking about because the world is going to flip like upside down after rapture and it will be basically hell on earth. And, um, and so, yeah, he showed me that like so many things it's connect me life, to yeah. it's free. I mean, just because of my purpose, what he created me for, I guess, um, uh, is why he chose my birth date and the day that he gave me my first message for the public. And so it's pretty mind blowing and it truly just proves that it's our God, our creator, Jesus Christ, our Lord, God in the flesh, who, who is in control of everything. He is the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. And even down to my birth time connecting to the hourglass because my birth time was eight, 8 PM. <laughs> And wow, eight that's is amazing. Loss. <laughs> new beginning oh. um so yeah and it's pretty mind-blowing and i'm so grateful all glory goes to jesus and the holy spirit for leading me to find everything it's all him it's not me i love you in christ god bless and also he led me to matthew today when i was um he was showing me some things but today he also it had a scripture where he pulled the tr um the root up from so he was showing me like when the rapture happens the roots literally get pulled up and turned upside down there's like no more tree of life then we found scripture where he gives the tree to his saints um, and he was calling us that because he was using us as the Adam and Eve couples of the 24 elders. Um, he also showed me today that the defiled heart. OK, so when you're truly born, born again, he gives you his heart of flesh. The flesh he died on the cross for you because he came in the flesh. He has the father's spirit. He's but he's separate as the son, but he's still God. And he gives you that heart of flesh. So when his father sees you, he only sees righteous, counted righteous by Jesus' blood. Because when you're under the law, you still have the defiled heart because you haven't trusted in Jesus 100%. So this also proves one saved, always saved, because when you actually come to believe in Jesus and rely that he finished all sins on the cross, past, present, future sins, he puts that heart of flesh inside you and you cannot take someone's heart away because it will kill them physically, literally. So that's why another symbol is where he cannot take back salvation. Once he gives it to you, you have his heart and you're forever counted righteous and your heart is no longer defiled any longer because he literally took that from you when he removed your heart of stone and gave you the heart of flesh, the flesh that he died for you. So you call on Jesus Christ, you ask him, you tell him you're a sinner because we are all sinners in God's eyes. Sorry, that's my mom's chair is beeping. And then um, we're all sinners in God's eyes, but you are counted righteous when you come to believe in Jesus Christ and you give him your heart. He didn't come to condemn the world. He came to save the world and he just wants a relationship with you. And that is how you align your spirit to him because he gives you his heart. And that's when you start to be more Christ-like because literally he, you become one with Christ because you are a part of Christ when he gives you his heart of flesh.
So call on Jesus today. You are saved by your faith through his grace, through repentance, a change of mind to believe in Jesus Christ and one saved, always saved. Don't listen to the false doctrines they're showing you out there because the devil is out to deceive and he's he's out to destroy. You do not have to go through the great tribulation. You do not have to endure his wrath. He took the wrath on the cross for you. That was what the suffering was for. The disciples had to suffer because it was their lack of faith. Peter started walking on water, but then he sunk. Jesus said to me in a message, are you going to sink, swim, or drown? Um, he wants you to swim. He wants you to get on the ark. That's all about this is what this entire journey is about is about getting on the ark, believing in Jesus Christ, knowing that you are saved through your faith and belief in him and his grace alone saves you. There's no works to salvation. When you rely on yourself to save you, you're still under the old law, the old Moses law, the old covenant, which means you've never built that relationship with Jesus Christ because you've never leaned on the new covenant when he came in the flesh and died for all of your sins. So you may be saved. We love you so much guys. And we pray for all of you and we hope to see you in the cloud soon. Amen. Goodbye, guys. God bless.